long time no see so i am going to be doing a book haul because i haven't really done so in a while um work has been crazy really really crazy i know also this is a different setting uh, the computer I used was temporarily moved, so crazy lighting here, um, you know, it's fine. Um, I have some books to haul, some of which, like a good half, if not more, I've already read, um, and the rest I will be probably reading really soon, although I have some spooky books prepared for next month to haul and then add to my TBR for that month because October has got to be super spooky. First, I kind of went a little crazy with the Vampire Academy series um, this month. I just like had to read them all. So the first book I had gotten is Shadow Kiss uh, by Rochelle Mead. I got this a while back and this is the third book. Then I got Blood Promise, which is the fourth book. And yes, I know it is in a different cover, but Spirit Bound, which is the fifth book, and they only had this cover, so you know what? I was out of luck. Um, the first two, the third and the fourth book I've already read, and I have started this book, but I kind of set it down to take a little break. And if you don't know what that series is about, I don't know where you've been. Hmm. Next, I'm hauling Glimmer Glass by Jenna Black. This is a book about fairy and the human world, and as far as I can aware, they're both aware of each other. Um, and in England, I forget which area, there's a like a town there that has walls around it that's kind of like the um, in-between place fairy or fey area and the, and the real world, the human world. Uh, and this girl, it turns out she's like half fey, half human and so she might have some special abilities and she goes to live with her dad because her mom is an alcoholic uh, and things happen there's a lot of danger in this book um, I'll be doing a review but it's pretty exciting next I'm hauling article 5 by Kristen Simmons this is a post-apocalyptic still can't say that word book uh, girls in the main character although there's also a guy um, Human rights are being taken away, horrible things are being done to people, it's it's pretty stereotypical. And I will also talk about this in my wrap-up because I've also already read it. Then I've also read Of Poseidon by Anna Banks and this is a book that's going all around book two, or at least it was several months ago. And um, it's about, uh, Siri, I don't even know what they're called. I don't know they're they're kind of like mer mermen mermaids um and the main character turns out she has something to do with them and there's some romance and it'll I'll, I'll talk about it in my wrap-up now i have four books i haven't actually read i know who knew and the first is uh, a grave talent by laura r king so she writes um a really good series where the main character is um this young woman who then works with Sherlock Holmes. It's a really cool kind of retake on it, and I really enjoyed it, although I haven't finished the series. Um, and this is a separate series by her about a woman a homicide detective, and some gruesome murders are going down to do with art, and things are happening. So I'm hoping that her writing is just as strong in this book. After that, I have The Secret Daughter of the Tsar by Jennifer Lamb, I think. This is a book about Russia. Uh, more specifically, it is about I think kind of that whole Anastasia thing where there's like a secret child that gets hidden out even when everyone else gets murdered and it follows three different women over three different time periods and how it relates to it. I think there's a ballerina, a maid, and then in modern times there's a historian uh, and it sounds really awesome. I like Russian history. I don't know a lot about it, but I really enjoy it. And I know there's a lot of other people on book two who do too, so I'm really hoping this is good. Next are some books you guys really already know about. The first is The Elite by Kira Cass. Uh, I was kind of iffy about picking up this book because I've heard really mixed reviews on it, especially about the main character, America, but I decided what the heck, you know. I've been flying through YA books because they're so darn easy to read and slightly addictive. Um, and even though obnoxious main characters, especially young ones that are really immature, just make me really annoyed. Um, we'll see if I enjoy it. And finally, I have Of Triton by Anna Banks. I had to get the second book because I enjoyed the first book so much. Also, I want to show you guys one other thing. So you've met Sophie several times, but this is Son. She's my tub cat. 
see if I can see her belly. Yeah. She's a chubby. She's really cute. She's a big scaredy, which is why you guys never see her on screen. But since I'm out here, she's stuck. All right. These are the 10 books that I'm hauling. So you'll get a reviews on a bunch of them and the rest I will read in the future. Sorry if this video has been a little low energy. I am sick and work has been insane like non-stop for the last couple of months since the beginning of the summer. So that's why videos have been scarce. But hopefully I'm always eternally optimistic that I will be making more videos in the future more regularly. So fingers crossed. Anyways, I hope you guys had an excellent weekend. I will see you later.